we're taking a look at some of Europe's most extravagant hotel suites. We've come to Paris, to the Hotel de Crillon, where the cheapest room starts at 1,000 euros per night, and the top suites go up to 30,000 euros. Few properties anywhere in the world can compete with the hotel's history. Its facade was commissioned by Louis XV in 1755, and it was the Count de Crillon's private mansion. Marie Antoinette took music lessons here, and she was guillotined in the square outside. Since becoming a hotel in 1909, it's hosted a string of celebrities and VIPs, from Winston Churchill to Madonna. Good morning, Tom. Hello. Welcome to Hotel de Crillon, Rosewood Hotel. <laughs> Thank you. Can we have a look around? Absolutely. This way, please. In 2010, it was acquired by the Saudi royal family and is now operated by Hong Kong-based Rosewood Hotels. It reopened last summer after a lavish four-year refurbishment. The Hotel's Bernstein Suite, named after the frequent former guest, composer Leonard Bernstein, cost €20,000 per night. It can be connected to the Louis XV Suite next door, pushing the cost to €29,000, but still only giving you two bedrooms, though they are huge. More than 70 types of marble were used in the Hotel de Crillon. In some suites, the baths are carved from solid two-ton blocks of Carrara marble. Visually impressive, but a challenge for the butlers who have to fill them repeatedly to bring them up to temperature. So we will literally go in the room, run a bath with really, really hot water, let it uh, flow away and then start over again. Right. And then obviously, depending on the guest preferences, we would put aromas in it or specific bath salts and all of that. One of this suite's most striking features is the terrace, which offers uninterrupted views of some of the most famous Parisian landmarks. So starting from there, we have the American Embassy, which are our neighbours. We can see the Arc de Triomphe right over there, uh, Le Grand Palais, Le Petit Palais, the Eiffel Tower, obviously, uh, the uh, Alexander Bridge right there. The hotel sits at the foot of the Champs-Élysées on the Place de la Concorde. In Louis XV's time, this was the most prestigious square in Paris, even if today it is choked by at least nine lanes of traffic. Despite its history, the reborn de Crillon finds itself facing strong competition. Its strategy is to try and bring in younger Parisians, so it feels like part of the city rather than an enclave of wealthy outsiders. You have live music every evening. So even to give you an example, the Beastie Boys came to... Uh to perform there. Wow. Just, yes. <laughs> so you had the Beastie Boys uh, playing under uh, Louis Quinze's uh, frescoed ceiling. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> Amazing. This is a hotel that's owned by a Saudi prince and run by a hotel management company based in Hong Kong. And yet despite that, it seems perfectly French and even more than that, perfectly entwined in the fabric of Parisian society. 